I got you a latte. Fat free. Thanks. It's D-Day, Simone. The day I get Miguel to stop thinking of me as one of the guys and discover me as a woman. Not to be a downer, Kay, but what if he doesn't? Don't even think it, Simone. Miguel's going to be mine. And are you going to help me or not? What do you want me to do? You can start by numbering these sashes for the contestants. Okay. You do realize that as soon as the guys see these, they're going to know they've been tricked into entering a beefcake contest. What if they walk off, refuse to compete? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I always think of something. What a waste of time and money. How much did all this ribbon cost? None of your business, brat. Get out of here. No way. This is my room, too. I'm just trying to save you some heartache. We all know Miguel's got it bad for some girl he saw at the carnival yesterday. How did he describe her? I remember. Beautiful blonde hair and the most amazing eyes he's ever seen. I don't care what she looks like. There's no way I'm losing Miguel to some strange girl whose name he doesn't even know. <sighs> Just let her try to show her face in harmony again. <sighs> Did you hear Jessica, Miguel? My bratty baby sister thinks some strange girl is going to take you from me. You don't believe her, do you, Kay? I told her she was wrong, but she'll say anything to make me mad. Why would I look at anyone else if I could have you? You're my soulmate. That's what I thought, Miguel. My sister's losing it, Simone. Are you all right, Kay? I'm better than all right. Miguel and I are soulmates. <laughs> Teammates, yes. Soulmates, I don't think so. Well, what do you know, Jessica? You're just a kid. An evil kid. I know a few things, like you may be an okay softball player, but I bet that girl Miguel saw at the carnival is better at other kinds of games. The kind of games boys play at night, in the dark. I can play those games too. She claims she's very experienced. Oh, right. The closest she's ever come to getting to first base with a guy is during a softball game. Well, that's what you know, Jessica. I've even seen Miguel naked. Liar. You've never seen Miguel naked. Wanna bet? Tell her, Simone. Well? It's true. I've seen him completely naked. I'll bet this other girl hasn't, whoever she is. Last fall, I sneaked into the boys' locker room after football practice. You did not. Want to bet? It was right after tryouts, and a bunch of the new guys were in uniform. I was too scared of getting busted. I waited outside. Then you don't know for sure it happens. Do too. Your sister had too many details to have made it up. So how did you get into the boys' locker room? How come nobody stopped a girl? Because I didn't look like a girl. I was wearing shoulder pads and a helmet. Get out! I even had some men put those ugly black smudges under my eyes. I still don't know what they're for, but who cares? It worked. So once I looked the part, I just swaggered right in with the other guys. Tell how you patted Jimmy O'Brien's butt like the other guys were doing. <laughs> it was firm, like a rock. <laughs> I don't believe this. You should have seen the locker room. What a pigsty. The smell alone could have killed me, but I had a bet with Simone and I wasn't about to back out. The guys were taking showers and horsing around and stuff. I even got my rear end snapped with the towel a couple times, but it was worth it, believe me. Why? Then what happened? I think you've heard enough. Don't you dare stop now, Kay Bennett. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. It was worth it because all of a sudden, there he was, straight out of the shower. Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald in all his glory. And I do mean glory. <laughs> it was worth any risk. Let me tell you, he made a big impression on me. <laughs> See what I mean? She really did it. <laughs> wow. I was this close. I would have gotten even closer, but some of the guys caught me staring, and I didn't want them to think I was gay. <laughs> Okay, Elizabeth Bennett, what were you just talking about? Me? Just now? Um, if you don't remember, I can fill in mom and dad. Well, somebody better tell me, and fast. Well, you know how much I look up to Kay since she's my older sister. I learn a lot by listening to her. And that's what your mother and I are afraid of. Your sister Kay is a very bright young woman, but one daughter who gets herself involved in outlandish crazy schemes is enough. That goes for you, too, Simone. I don't think you want me to talk to your father about... Oh, no, Mr. Bennett. Please don't. As for you, Kay, your father and I will speak to you tonight. 
Thanks a lot, Jessica. That's just one more crime to add to my list. I'm not scared of your stupid old grudge Well, list. you should be, because it keeps getting longer. Lucky for you, I'm working on my plan to get Miguel today. You guys might as well go home. The Lopez Fitzgerald brothers are here. We're ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So where's your mom? My mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, she had a lot of stuff to do at home. She asked me to run the contest. Mm -hmm. How far is the swim? Is it a relay? Well, not exactly. Um, in fact, you'll be glad to know you don't even have to get wet. Just doiled. I don't get it. Why'd you tell us to bring our swimsuits? Well, um... So what kind of contest is this, anyway? Oh, don't look now, Miguel. We've been had. Mr. Harmony Hunk? Forget it. Sorry, girls. You got the wrong guys. Come on, bro. Uh, no, you can't leave. It'll disappoint my mother so much. You know how much it means for her to have the carnival be a success? Come on, let me get this straight. Your mother, Grace Bennett, actually planned a hunk contest? I know. It's weird. But she was adamant about this. I think she might be going through the change. <laughs> and I know my father, your boss, would appreciate you humoring my mom. Not playing fair now, Kay. The Bennett's are good people, Luis. Maybe it won't be so bad. I still don't like it. Now, I don't like it either, bro. But it's for charity, right? Every penny. You can change with the other guys over there. I'll be glad to put the oil on your bodies. I mean, if you need help. Now, I think we can manage. <laughs> don't forget, this is about me getting Miguel first. Then we'll work on finding someone for you. There's only one contestant who hasn't shown up. That Ethan guy? Mr. Harmony Hunk? Sorry, I don't think so. Oh, Ethan, come on. Be a sport. It's to raise money for charity. You really want me to strut around in front of strangers in my bathing suit? Mm, well, I can think of worse ways of spending a couple of hours. You're a great help, Gwen. <laughs> I understand. You're afraid of losing. Losing? I don't think so. Where do I change? Over there. Don't forget to put on some body oil before you come back. What? Oh, stop acting so shocked. <clears throat> Try and enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Besides, I've always wanted to sleep with a muscle man. Well, in that case, see you later. <laughs> when, how about we get some really good front row seats? Okay. What took you so long, Teresa? The contest is about to start. Oh, I just need another minute. Do you know where there's a phone? Can it wait? I need you to go check on the guys and make sure they're wearing their sashes before they come on. The locker room's right over there. Okay. 